Okay, crafters, we're back, and I've got my little dollhouse uh, chest of drawers here. And first thing I'm going to do, of course, is take it out of the package, which I... There we go. And this thing is... Let me throw the bag away. This thing is made out of... Uh, it's pretty soft balsa wood. And uh, what I want to do now is I want to take these... Uh, I don't know what they are ornaments off the top here. Actually, it's for the, the chest of drawers that sit on the floor like that, but I'm going to take these off and I'm going to use my hacksaw. They don't have to be perfectly flush because we're going to put some uh, foam board on top of it. So, and uh, a little bit more. There's just, I'm just going to, I get, probably need to get a little sharper. Can you see it? A little sharper. Uh, hacksaw blade, and it'll probably just come right off, but you get the idea. And I'll take my... And I'll just pop them right off there like that with my uh, wire snippers are here. And uh, there you go. I just loosen a little bit with the hacksaw. And you have these, anything sticking up here, you can take a wood file too, which I have one right here. Like I said, it doesn't have to be flush because, believe it or not, we're going to put some foam board on it. And if it, uh, we, it, we can push the foam board down on it. So that's the first step here. The second step is these little nubs, which is the Chester drawers, uh, things on here. These don't have to be flush either. I'm just going to pop them. I'm, I'm just going to clip them a bit with my wire cutters. Just to give them a little bit so they don't protrude so much. There we go. I think you guys will get the idea. I don't know if you need to see how this is all on video. I'm hoping with this doll furniture stuff that I'm making, that'll inspire you to do all kinds of stuff with the doll furniture. I have another build after this one. This, this is a pretty easy build. But I have this gate tower. It's made out of the larger Chester drawers. And I'm really excited to show it to you because I think it came out really cool. Okay. I just give you an idea here, not to bore you with the video and stuff, whatever. I, I, I kind of nipped off the nubs here, the uh, Chester drawers, and I just kind of uh, cleared off those uh, ornaments or whatever they were, the leg stands that were on the top. What we want to do now is we want to put we want to put some uh, foam board here on the top piece. And I could measure it out, but I'll tell you a cheap, simple way to do this is just one thing nice about foam board. Let me move my tools out of the way. So how easy it is to make an indention into it, and I can just and press that down in there and uh, get a better one here. And I can make an indention, or I can use my little marker here to cut it. And I have uh, have some scissors. Maybe I can use some scissors here. Uh, this the, up here in the, in the dragon's den. This is like a little lab that we that I work with. I try to keep my tools around pretty handy. And, hey, you know, I, what you're doing, why are you seeing these videos? You're just seeing me working on stuff. There's no real rhyme or reason to it. I'm really, it's a lot of me experimentation. When I first made the first two uh, fireplaces, uh, I wasn't real happy with them. They were more experimental. But I think that uh, I could make them even better on this go around and I'm going to show you how to do it. I got an idea anyway. All right. I've cut the top off here. 
And if it doesn't if it doesn't fit squarely, we can trim it. And what I'm going to do is just I'm just going to uh, glue that hot glue that to the top. My hot glue gun here. I'm going to just put some hot glue on there and just glue the top on. Hold it down flat. You can always trim it up. Okay. And I don't even know if I need that much trimming, but I can always trim it up. Now what we want to do is we want to cut the next piece for the front, uh, which is like here. And this one here, I'm not going to make it that circular, that much space. In the floor. But the thing with it is, we got to measure this one out. And uh, this piece here is exactly three inches. Oh, by two and a quarter inches will do it. So it's... Get my little marker here. Use this one here. It's three inches. I have been working really hard on my game book, which uh, has really been eating up a lot of my time, but I can only go so long without crafting. So, and it's uh, two and a quarter inches. This way. Like I said, if it's not perfect, we can just uh, trim it up. Okay. Yeah, I have been working on my game book. So I'm real excited about it. It's been taking up a lot of my time. And I'm on crunch time right now. That means I'm working really hard to, to get it complete. And like I said, I got to do some crafting too. So I've cut this out, hopefully to somewhat to near the shape of it. If it doesn't fit, I can always uh, trim it a bit. The nice thing about foam board, you can always trim it to make it. Like I said, most of the times I'm I'm building this stuff for Saturday afternoon gaming. That's you know I really don't I, I don't have a lot of time to spend on getting things ready. So uh, I like to make things that are quick and fast to still look good, you know. Okay, now you can see I've cut this down the foam board down to size. Here, I'm going to glue it on. But before I glue it on, I'm going to make the fireplace hole. For the fireplace. Now I am just going to eyeball it here. I've got this round object here. And before I made one, but I thought it was too big, so I'm going to make it a smaller one. And like I said, I'm just eyeballing it. Get my pen. Yes, you can hear all the planes outside. I like to film early in the morning, but my schedule hasn't led me to do that lately. Okay, that's roughly where I want the whole, the whole at. I've got my X-Acto knife. Put my pen away. And I'm just going to cut this out. Now you don't... Now you are going to need some cardstock for, for the next step. But we'll get to that in the next video. Just a little piece of cardstock. All right. Save this piece here. This is going to be a pattern for you to make use the cardstock. Okay. Now this fits in here, like this, right? And before we glue it in there, we want to give it its uh, stone texture. And I like to. Uh, I like to draw it in first. I'm gonna give us a, a stone. We're gonna get a stone fireplace. We're gonna give it some stone texture. I'm just drawing the lines in for the stonework. Of 
These videos are, in style, are, are intended to be inspiration for you to come up with your own ideas on how to do things. I'll give you some uh, some ideas how you can use this doll furniture. And yes, I didn't think I'd ever be man. I'm 63 years old, year old man, going into Dollar Tree and buying doll furniture, but I'll do anything to fix something for the gaming table. And I kept looking at this doll furniture. I was like, how can I use this? And I, I got some other pieces too planned. So, okay, we got it. We got it this way. And uh, I'm just going to do some really easy stonework. I'm just going to hand draw it. Kind of look like brickwork. I guess that's what I'm trying to got an idea here to make it kind of like a brick. Kind of offset it with the bricks. I think you get the idea. Now, I generally like to have my stonework indentations a little stronger. But the nice thing is about uh, foam board is that when you use like a Sharpie pen, it does melt into it. But I like a little bit more definition. So I'm going to run my X-Acto knife down it really softly. Just like this, just to give it a little more definition of the lines. And I can use my my wood burning tool, and it really, really burns it really quick too. By the way, it's it's so. But that's that's me. And if you don't have a wood burning tool, you can do this just like this here. Yes, I craft better when I'm not on the video, but I still have too much fun making these videos, so. Okay, now, well, we got one more thing to do, and that's give this thing, this fireplace front and the mantle, a nice stone texture. And we do this with an aluminum ball, which is ideas that I got from Black Magic Craft and Scotty Mc and uh, the Crafting Muse Vanessa. They're my. They might call them my uh, inspiration mentors. There. Okay, we have this piece here. We're just gonna, like I said, we're just gonna make a little quick uh, fireplace. I'm gonna get the top part of this, give it this kind of a stone texture look with the aluminum ball. And I'm gonna glue this to the front. See how fast this thing is working to make it make a fireplace? I know you got the idea already on how to do it. But this is to the front of it. Okay. This is our basic fireplace. It's done. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to paint this all black. And uh, I'm going to move to the next stage. And next stage, I'm going to show you how we build the fire in here. So, uh, and you're going to need some cardstock for that. So I will see you on the flip side when we continue with uh, with building the fireplace, the fire in the fireplace. See you then. Bye for now.